Uh, Obamacare. You know, it's the signature achievement of, obviously, this president. And uh, like many liberals, I have been screaming how great it has been. And it's working. And there's no doubt. Uh, well, I'm, you, you might regret that in a second. <laughs> uh, not because of what I'm saying, because of what the New York Times is saying, which is not exactly a conservative publication. Mm -hmm. Now, there is no doubt that for people with pre-existing conditions, this is a godsend. And, uh, you know, people, the 10 million people who didn't have it before, and, you know, people who used to get thrown off the rolls because they made a spelling error with the insurance company. But the New York Times on Sunday did an article that basically said, you know, when Obama said, if you, ha if you like your plan, nothing will change, well, everything has changed. 46% of people are having trouble paying health care costs now, up 10% from a year ago, because the du deductibles went up, the co-pays went up. They can't see the doctor they used to see because he's in a different network. Um, they go to get questions answered, and they're talking to somebody reading a script in the Philippines. It's like, you know, your prostate cancer has been handled by Comcast now. <laughs> Bill. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's as we point out in the book, uh, people go back to their corners. It's either a great bill or it's a terrible bill. And they, actually, it helps some people and it's worse for some people. This was a badly written bill. Remember, they rushed it to get it through on Christmas Eve. It never got to conference where you usually fix these bills and the House and Senate and experts come together. They went with a bad Senate bill because they lost their 60th vote. And so no. they, they, you know, it, it, they, they went with a, a bill and they said, Thank let's go with what we got or uh, we're going to have to start all over again. And, and they haven't been able to fix it. And it's got a huge court test coming up that may bring the whole thing down. Well, I can't agree with that narrative, Tom. They, they worked on it forever. The Republicans never won no, They've it. already repealed it. We should for, have a single-payer system. Well, that's a different that's, issue. That's, but, but this that's isn't, this why. Isn't that. But this isn't that. And they've already repealed four parts of it, and we all recognize it's got a lot of flaws and a lot of innovative interpretations. But, you know, Mitt Romney, remember he said corporations are people? No, they're sharks. Insurance <laughs> companies, this is predictable. Insurance companies are sharks. They were always going to find a way to do this. One of the most frightening things in this article is when somebody said, it's so confusing, I've just stopped seeing a doctor. Mm. And, and that's going on a lot, apparently. People but are it, just not going because it's more expensive, I, too confusing. I rest my case. And I think this was intentional. I think the insurance companies wanted this to happen because that's how they make money. Less people going to a doctor. Yes, you no, don't... No, go ahead, no. I, I, mean, I, I think that the system before Obamacare was, a com in many ways, a completely messed up system. It was. 50 million people uninsured, whatever it is, 17% right. of GDP spent on health care, not better health care outcomes than in Europe. It was your complete... I completely agree with you. The bill was a bad bill in many ways because it was the product of backroom negotiations. It was a very poor compromise. It could have been much better. That's... It had huge teething problems in being put into place. But that said, you know, I'm, I've read the New York Times piece. That's, there's some, you know, striking anecdotes there, some interesting stats. But overall, I think it has increased... Um, insurance. It's increased the number of people who are covered. Costs have slow, are rising more slowly. Mm. Uh, in its very early days. So I think for you particularly it's, it's, to write off Obamacare... Well, I'm not writing it off. I'm reporting. Yeah. OK, that's what we do well, here. And, and but it, it's got I'm winners giving, and it, losers. It does it's got have winners, it does and, have winners and losers. I think on net, and the Commonwealth, I don't know if it's the group or fund, but they are the largest like, non-federal group that studies health care over time. And they found more people uh, insured than have been. Like, uninsured rate has gone down for the first time that we ever. Know. We know that. Fewer people on their study complaining about uh, inability to access health care due to cost. And I also thought, I'm not sure that 46% of them, I'd love to look that up. There are bad cases. I'm a good case. I didn't have insurance. I got Obamacare. I'm sitting pretty, pretty right now. So I do a little Obamacare, Obamacare dance, like, every week. <laughs> Because it's very, it's like it's better for me to not have that great risk over my shoulders. There are definitely people who ended up in a worse case, but I think on net, all I legislation think, has that. As long as you allow the profit motive into yeah. sickness and death with people, well, we agree you, with it's that. just always going to be fucked up. And they made a, you know, a deal just, with the insurance companies to do that. You know, yeah. I mean, healthcare shouldn't be a business.
It's not, it, it should it not like the be government a business. Business. No, no, healthcare better. shouldn't be a business. Why does but everything have to be for profit? Because this is America. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do, son. I know. But some things just plainly should not be yeah. for profit. And this is one of them. It's life and death. Yeah. I mean, the, the, this... Bill, the government doesn't have the money to do a national uh, uh, health care bill. How come every other country... Government? Well, I come not every other country, but... Every yeah, other... Actually, actually, we don't, actually we don't what you want is you want to have, I think, a... Uh, the UK system has a single-payer system, mm -hmm. but you also want some competition and market Correct. forces within that single-payer system. So a hybrid... It's not true that... Government always is the most efficient in healthcare. It's not. You want to have the efficiencies of the private sector in parts of the delivery. But I agree with you. I think an overall a single payer system is a, is a more efficient overall system than what the U.S. has. But she with runs some the competition. Competition, she brings, the competition brings costs down. Yeah, Third party payer system is contrary to that, and that's what you, you need to eliminate. That. Okay.